M0FXB, welcome to my channel. DSD Plus, a program for decoding digital items like DMR DSTAR. So let's download by clicking the download section here, and this is the window we get. We'll also go to our file section here. So at the very bottom, you've got this yellow file. We'll click that, go to on the left, local disk C, click that. We need a new file, we're gonna right click it go to new, then folder, and within that folder we're gonna call it in capital letters DSD plus. We have an empty file. We can just close that down. We'll click download DSD plus. We've got that there. We're gonna click that, and we're gonna extract it to that same file. So we'll go extract to, and we'll scroll down we're going to find what we called DSD plus in our C drive. Let's click C here. And we're looking for those caps. There it is there, DSD plus. Click OK. That's good. And we'll just leave it. Well, no, we can close this. Let's go back to that file and click it. The DSD plus. And we'll just leave it to the right hand side here. Just sat there. Then we're gonna to go to the next line down, which is the DLL files here on the left. Click that. <clears throat> I'm gonna let that open, and then I'm gonna go back to that other file, like so, and I'm gonna click at the bottom here. <clears throat> Sorry about that, slide up, just underneath then slide up, and I'm gonna get my mouse and drag it onto those files. And so those files have now been put in here okay now i'm going to double click the dsd plus folder here and there you are that's all up and running the next thing we need to do is change some of the settings that are within this these parameters and it is confusing but if you look here where it says at the bottom look here about this far down it says audio input device and actually at the moment it's the right one it's it's saying cable output VB audio virtual so that's great uh, if it's different then we can change that and I'll show that in a, in a later section at the bottom here audio output device so that's that's going to be our speakers and that's already selected so we've got lucky here and it has found the correct ones so this is part one of the video. Thanks for watching so far.